everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thanks for joining me on today's video. You know, some videos are, uh, you know, exotic, some are old school, some are fresh, and then some are what we call smile makers. And I say that because when I'm talking about these cars, even though we've had many of them, you can look around here and see there's a lot of other supermodels here in this showroom, next showroom, stuff like that. However, some cars just make you smile, and I'll tell you what I mean by that. The styling of this Corvette, right, is designed after a Coke bottle, right, or uh, uh, the figure of a woman that was uh, also mentioned. Um, and I don't know whether it is or it isn't, don't really care. What I do care about is this is a great looking car, right? And so when I say smile maker, I think about myself, owning a car like this, you know, this is 2024 that we're doing the video, almost 2025, this vehicle is 55 years old. I'm thinking to myself, back when I was 55, if I looked this good, man, I'd been in a supermodel. This is now a supermodel, all right? And so I smile because I think about driving it and the sound that it makes and working the shifter, knowing that I have cold air conditioning and all of the accoutrements like four-wheel disc brakes and power steering and four-wheel independent suspension, like a modern sports car wrapped up in a car that does no modern car looks anything like this today. So as we move around this car, we're going to see some of the restoration. Make sure you look at the pictures of all the, the receipts and all the things that came with because many times we get restored cars, we get no documentation. We are very lucky in this car here, a lot of money spent on it. It is a beautiful car and let's get started. A 69 Corvette's a great looking car to start with, right? But throw in Monza red paint and it is really uh, amazing. They call it resale red because red cars always sell well. Um, and I don't say that by selling a car to you, I'm talking about someday you may wanna sell this car and you always have to be thinking about what will it be like when I go to sell it? And if you love this car and the color combination that's in right now, it's gonna be very easy for you to help transition that to the next owner who might love this car. Where I'm getting at is this, is that pictures can make anything look good. We do a video for a reason and I wanna teach you just a little bit about paint. I talk about this in some of the videos we do is I want you to look at the paint, but I don't want you to look at the paint. You say, Tom, what did you just say? You said, don't look at the paint, but look at the paint, but don't look at the paint. No, what I meant to say was don't look at the paint. What I mean by that is let's look at what's in the paint the ceiling, the light, these crisp letters. The crisper the letters are, the, the more you can see every detail of the ceiling in the paint, right? The better the paint is. Orange peely paint, as it progresses worse from this beautiful paint, uh, doesn't reflect well back. You can see something in it, but you can't read it crystal clear. And that's why I call this mirror finish. Let's do that right now. Come on up here and check this out. This is beautiful, beautiful mirror finish paint. See the ceiling up there, the lights are in there. You can see all that stuff. Uh, it's just beautiful. And when you do these cars like that, I mean, just all of the detail, like most people don't understand, especially a Corvette, how expensive it is to restore these things. When you're talking about getting all new uh, grills and bumpers and emblems um, and all those things, you say, well, Tone, it's just an emblem. Well, if it's just an emblem, let me tell you something. When you go to have to take off the inner fender liner, to put the screws in, to put the emblem on, right? Each thing takes two hours. Someone has to do all that. All that hard work's been done for you. As we move around this car, you're gonna see, wow, this car is really, really nice. And the simple fact is it won't take you two years. You won't spend $100,000 restoring a car and you could be driving it this weekend. All right, so we're gonna take a peek under the hood for a minute. And I wanna talk a little bit about a car that's a spectacular matching numbers car and things like that, but also with driver upgrades. However, before we go any farther, People always say to me, wow, Tone, that's a great looking car, but they don't really know why it's a great looking car. Let's talk about that for one quick second before we go any farther. The headlight doors here, right? Where most cars have exposed headlights, right? These are hidden down below. They're giving that beautiful rake here. Where are the windshield wipers? Well, they're hidden behind this vacuum operated door. Nice styling feature uh, of these cars when the 68 model came out. All right, so when we look under here for a second, uh, let's talk about what's correct and what's not correct and why it's not correct. So for instance here, this has a high energy ignition system here. This car starts beautifully. It makes more power than originally made from the factory. Uh, it idles great. This is an upgrade. If you don't love that, uh, they also sell these wires, I believe in black, okay? And uh, we could also uh, do that. Secondly, this is modern air conditioning and heat, all right? This is a vintage air system. It's expensive but it's so much better than the factory air conditioning ever was. And even when it has factory air conditioning that's been restored, these systems here are much better. They have a completely different uh, evaporator box under the dash and all of those details. Another piece in here. I'm a huge fan about a car not overheating. And there's nothing worse than a car that overheats, especially if you're going to a car show, sitting in traffic at the beach or whatever, because you can't do anything other than wait. 
If you got a flat tire, you can change the flat tire, get back on the road. But an overheated car, eh, here, they've solved this problem. Here is a radiator in this car here that's 100% bigger than the factory radiator. 100% bigger, and clearly you can see uh, how much uh, room and things like that it takes up in there, but it makes for a great cooling experience so that the drive is much better. Also over here, we have power steering. You can't see that. That's an important feature because as we get older, having some power steering and being able to wheel a car like this around is actually very nice. So the last part about this is you can see the detail. Everything's not spray painted black. It has a cadmium cap on the master cylinder. The, the wiper vacuum here is cadmium. The tank over here is polished uh, stainless. Air conditioner this. The fuel filter is correct AC unit, right? All of this little stuff that makes for a show uh, engine compartment. My point is if you wanted to take it to a car show, you could open the hood here, have people come by and look at it, and you'd be very proud of it. If you don't care really what's under the hood, and we have many buyers that don't, it's just a great car to go for a great drive. One of the things I'd like to do is start down here because I think this is one of the funniest things ever is that a Corvette can never be mistaken for a Mustang or a pickup truck or a Pinto or a Porsche, right? A Corvette, everybody knows when they see a car that's a Corvette. Like you could remove this emblem and everyone will know right away. Look at the way the tail kicks up as part of the body. This one originally had a luggage rack, which comes with the car as well. And so you can still have that that comes with it. We just put these inserts in here. These cross flags, these are vents to keep the, uh, because the car is sealed so well to keep it uh, aerated inside. This is beautiful too, because this, uh, well, you know what, let me get to that in just a second, but this split bumper design, right? This is all styling. These are all these things that people say, wow, that's a great looking car and I appreciate all that, but we need to see the effort that's put into it. This right here, these rings around the tail lights that match this stuff here. These rings around the trim rings right there that come from the tailpipes uh, there. All these little tiny things make up for a great looking car. All right, so listen, one nice thing about this too is this is an all season car and it's a quick all season car. Some cars don't come with convertible tops. I don't know if you knew that or not. Convertible tops uh, back in the, this era, some cars were optional. Some cars had hard tops and that's kind of a pain because you don't know where to store it. That means it would have to be on the car if bad weather came. The Corvette solves all that by putting the convertible top right here with you all the time. And it's tucked under that beautiful painted, uh, painted uh, tonneau cover, right? Beautiful top, new top, clear window, killer stereo system back here, Rockford Fosgate uh, subwoofer, some six by nines, uh, uh, amps in here, upgraded stereo, LED lighting is back here, and it's all kind of done for you already so that you don't have to. And this how, look how quick and easy that is. And boom, you're on the road. I love this shot because this is you walking up to your car when you're at work or a car show at home in the garage or whatever. This car is beautiful. It just is. Look at the, the way the lights bounce off of all of the humps, lumps, and bumps on these uh, beautifully, beautifully built cars. However, as many times as you're going to walk up to the car, you're going to spend a lot more time inside. So let's go ahead and get started and get inside here and see what we have. I'd like to point out something that's important too, is because a lot of times people will say, well, I'm a tall person. Am I going to fit in this car? Well, I'm 6'1 and I got plenty of room, but I did want to point out something uh, for a restoration a conversation for just a second if I could. When a car is restored well, things like the foot lighting works and the key and buzzer works. I took it out because the door's open. Ah, the most annoying noise ever, but it's there for a purpose, right? It's there to remind you, don't forget to take your keys. Shift pattern is here, horsepower car is here, and then you have an all new black bucket seat interior with new foams, right? They didn't just throw seat covers on top of old foams and they're flat. You can see all the cutouts are there, new carpets, new mats, new kick panels, new dash pad, uh, new console, new steering wheel. The gauges have been restored, right? New rear view mirror, visors, like it goes on and on. Go ahead and price a kit uh, for a Corvette right now. Uh, a kit for a Corvette's thousands and thousands of dollars and then double that because you need to get it installed. And easily you can see how you can spend uh, you could call a Corvette restorer right now and ask them, say, listen, I bought a 69 Corvette. How much would it be to restore it? And it's in between 75 and 100,000 plus the price of a car, right? And all this stuff is done for you. And that's why I get so excited about this. And how often do you find a four-speed one of these? Because many of them were automatic, air conditioned too, and great colors. All right, so we close up this video. We talked a lot about a lot. So uh, let me just run down some of the things that I think are highlights that make for a great car. 
A frame off restoration means this car was taken apart, right? Somebody with mechanical knowledge more than maybe you and I, right? Or definitely more than me, but maybe whatever, knew how to take all of these parts. There's roughly 20,000 parts in a car, 20,000 parts, all replated, redone, and put back together to make this beautiful car with upgrades, right? The air conditioning that's on there, the upgraded cooling system, ignition system, uh, rebuilt this, plated that, and then throw in great colors and then modern stuff like uh, four-wheel disc brakes and uh, four-wheel independent suspension. This is an awesome, awesome car. I'm telling you, man, find a way to figure it out and get it in your garage, and that's our job here. So call us, 301 816 1000 We'll tell you all about the 69 Corvette Roadster. And if you don't mind, uh, hit the like button down below there. It helps get the message out. I really appreciate that. And uh, maybe share it with your friends. They might see some stuff there they like as well. And subscribe to the channel. We have new stuff coming out all the time. And I will see you on the test drive. All right, so it's all about what's under the hood and the rumble, right? Well, let's get, let's get that party started. I love the way the seat just starts right up. Nice. Rev's nice, too. Tack is working like it should. Gauges are all looking good. All right, so what's it like to take a cool sports car slash muscle car out for a drive on a nice windy road on an afternoon? Thank you for driving with me today because this is just the sunshine. It is so nice. I'm rowing through the shifter. This car goes around the corner like a sports car, like it should, right? And rides nice too. Four-wheel independent suspension, big brakes, handling, power and not to mention all the other great stuff like the upgraded stereo which i don't even want to turn on at the moment because i just want to hear the engine i like that that four barrel opens up how you doing man this is what you get you forget you know like a, a camaro is not going to go around the corner like this uh-uh Wow, this is awesome. Well, I hope you enjoyed the drive today. I had a great time. Thanks for getting me out of the office for a minute, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.